24-7 comfort on call. Well, hello, farmer friend. <laughs> Chris, we've done a number of story on hydroponics. It, of course, is a process of growing plants without soil. Mm -hmm. You have a nutrient-rich water solution that flows through and it nourishes the plants. The big advantage with hydroponics, and this is the big trend, you can grow them in downtown city centers and you can grow them vertically which Even is, at the Appleton Airport, you could do that. Correct. Okay, so it's an up and coming thing and it's a smart thing, actually. Yeah. Okay, it may be about to get better from some research oh. from Sweden. Do tell. Researchers develop electronic soil that enhances crop growth. Okay, so here's the deal they developed a substrate that essentially you put into the water solution, but the roots can kind of adhere to it, okay. but it conducts electricity. The, the, the In water. Correct, okay? And what they do is they introduce a very low voltage, which requires very little energy consumption, so it's very green in that respect. And because the voltage is extremely low, you don't have the danger associated with, with voltage okay. and water, okay? okay? Right. So you don't have to worry about that. But the plants seem to love it, their barley seedlings that they experimented with grew 50% more in just 15 days when those roots were stimulated with the electricity. In fact, they have a picture here of what they've been doing. And you can see that substrate. When, when you see just a picture of the substrate itself, it almost looks like steel wool, kind okay. of. But, you know, introducing that little bit of electrical current makes a big difference. You don't have to worry about genetically modifying plants. You don't have to worry about right. introducing new fertilizers or other chemicals. It's just simply electricity. And it would seem like an easy ad for those companies that build those hydroponic platforms, right? Yep, they, they won't have to rearrange right. much, okay? okay? Rebuild, so that's a good thing. Okay. The next story about plants requires just a little bit of background information before we get into it. All land plants make a substance called ethylene. It's a plant hormone that the plants themselves make. It controls growth. It helps them respond to various stresses. It even causes things like the changing of leaves and helps to stimulate fruit ripening, okay? Okay. So with that in mind, let's take a look at this second plant story. Accidental discovery coming from the University of Tennessee. How a whiff of an unusual chemical transforms seedlings into super plants. Super plants. So here is some photographic evidence right oh. off the top. Okay. <laughs> Both plants are the same variety and the same age. This one on the left was just growing typically. The one on the right was given that whiff of the chemical, which is ethylene. Okay, so here's a closer look at what they're doing. They expose these seeds to the ethylene gas just for several days when they're still seeds. Okay. okay? but they're planted already, they're germinating in the dark, and then once they sprout, they're transferred into a light situation. They are no longer supplied with ethylene, so it's okay. just for a few days, but they all had larger leaves as well as longer and more complex root systems compared to the ones that were not exposed to the ethylene. And they've actually been experimenting with some other things as well here, but here's the good thing, Chris, is that it continues to grow quicker and bigger throughout the entire lifetime, even though there's no other ethylene or anything else provided. All natural, all good. It is. It gets better though, Ooh. because they've been experimenting with a more. number of different plants. Tomatoes, cucumbers, wheat, arugula, it all responds. So it's not plant specific. And again, it looks as though it's an up and coming thing as well. Sounds like a winner to it end does. 2023. Brad, thanks okay. so much. Happy New Year to you. We'll